Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to calculate DPU defect per unit, and and also we are going to compare the first pass yield versus throughput yield percentage. In this statistic in Excel, this is my eighth video, going to be very interesting. And uh, so just let me introduce the data set. This is the data set I have. So the data set, these are all column uh, row number three, four, all the way I have until row number seven. This is my input and that input is coming from column A, B, C, D, right? This uh, column A is a sample size where 600 is samples. And for example, error detected are defects. I have 74 item with the error 51 and uh, then followed by OFE that is uh, uh, you know the critical to quality or OFE opportunity for improvement or critical characteristic all of these things we can say though those numbers are being given here and from this one we are going to calculate using the formula for example let's say B3 that is uh, the B3 is the defects right defect into maybe we'll do it uh, one more time how to calculate uh, DPMO DPMO formula is very simple so you can just uh, save side because we are going to do a division so it's better to have it uh, the bracket so number of defects into 10 to the power of 6 either you can put like 6 zeros for example let's say 2 3 4 5 6 0 or in, in the other word you can put e the power of 6 that will be easiest and fastest and then number of uh, then the next one is dpmo formula is then you have a sample size into opportunity for improvement or ofe opportunity for error uh, that you can calculate and uh, here the opportunity for error is uh, four in the other word a critical characteristic i have done all this so you can enter so 30,000 is the one and then you can keep uh, dragging this one. So now we have calculated uh, the overall uh, DPMO also as well. For example, in the case one, and it will end up producing 30,000 defect per million opportunity if you produce 74 defect, right? So now very importantly, we're going to calculate the sigma value. That is very, very importantly, right? So there are two ways to do it either if you know the dpmo you can also do it maybe what i will do i will just invoke the insert and uh, sigma value using dpmo if 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 dpmo is already known So in this case, because we already know that uh, DPMO value, maybe I will just merge this uh, one. Yeah, maybe I will make it little bigger. Okay. So now what is the formula is you can give N and that's what this book uh, has to say. So this is N and if you go to N NOD and you have, yes, this is the formula is given here right so you can the same formula we're gonna do it and then one minus and then dpmo value so this is the dpmo value divided by one the power of six right and close bracket two times three times we need to close it plus 1.5 this is the formula okay maybe i have not inserted this one so this is one way to look at okay uh, if already dpmo is known we can just apply this first equation let's say dpmo is uh, if you if you wanted to do directly then you can also do it how to do it let me do it uh, if the dpmo is not known equal to and uh, you have n if you just put the n this is the formula right and uh, you can just compare that norms and this is a formula is bracket that in the before itself it has given a bracket we can just follow as is given in the text so norms and uh, this is a distribution return the standard normal distributions have a go and click it and then you have uh, so this is the inversion we are talking about sorry 
so maybe I will do it uh, one more time so n and in the n we can talk about this one uh, the uh, so return the inverse of standard normal uh, cumulative distribution right so this is the formula we are talking about it and then 1 minus dpmo dpmo is already known so this is the dpmo value for us sorry this is the dpmo value and then divided by and 1 to the power of 6 that means 1 million opportunity and then you can just uh, 3 times you can close this bracket because 1 to the overall the second one is for these two numerator and denominator plus 1.5 almost the same value we have got it here right we have just executed using the dpmo also we can do or directly also we can do as per this one we have done it and the next one is a past uh, the yield one right yield one actually like there is two way to do it either if you know the defect percentage defect percentage defect percentage you already know for example this is the defect and uh, and then sample size so this is the uh, one or if you, you we are we are talking about defectives right so uh, maybe we can put it like 51 divided by 600 and uh, this one we can just increase one more decimal maybe yeah and then this is the percentage so uh, an yield is nothing but c3 that is the same one error and divided by a3 right a3 is the sample size also as well that is one way to do it or we can do it this way also as well simply one minus this value you will get it simply we can do that way also as well so defect and uh, 1 minus uh, this value you will get it maybe i will delete everything and then i will just insert this 1 minus this value so this is the this is nothing but first pass yield right we are talking about first pass and how much error been there right inside the error how many defects are there right so that defects uh, one how we are calculating is uh, now we are talking about defect per million opportunity right so the defect is b3 that is uh, this one and divided by a3 right so maybe we, we can do it this one defect per million opportunity the formula is number of errors okay number of errors divided by number of items items is nothing but sample size here right so you can just invoke this one so you already got it and exactly in the same thing how we did the first pass right exactly in the same thing we can also do the same way also as well so simply what you do you can just put like 1 minus this value so you will get that value so you can drag it and drop it right so let's do it one more sample let's assume that you are testing 1000 units okay and uh, the number of error being reported or defects being reported is it's, let's say to 20 and uh, and then number of error being spotted is 10 and number of opportunity for error is 4 so automatically like it said uh, dpmo is 5000 and sigma is uh, 4.07 right so let's assume that my error has has reduced right let's say in this six sigma concept we say one the power of six Yeah, 10 power of 6 is nothing but 1 million opportunity, right? So, in, let's see in, in the 1 million opportunity, maybe I will make it like a number and uh, I'll remove the decimal. So, 1 million opportunity is there. Uh, let's say the defect is 3.4, right? And uh, the, the error is again uh, maybe 3.4, same. And uh, then OFE, let's say that we have uh, 1 OFE and uh, and then uh, dpmo automatically the same thing we have already given that dpmo 3.4 defect per million opportunity 
and uh, then we have also sigma value sigma is it will become closer to six you all know that right when you put this one it will become six six sigma right in both the cases uh, the same formula Sig sigma has become uh, six and then you also have a defect the defect is uh, this one and 0 0.000034 and in in terms of percentage i'm just converting into percentage uh, and maybe i'll make it uh, some digit so exactly the same thing we are getting 99.99966 and uh, the defect per million opportunity how much uh, we are getting it and then the same exactly we have value waiver let me let's do it one more quick uh, sample so that it will be easy let's assume that uh, you have 200 invoices uh, 200 invoices has got uh, you know 50 defects and uh, items with the error is uh, 10 one 10 has got error and each has got an opportunity of five the, like you know you need to check the date you need to check the bill numbers and everything. so you can easily see that it is uh, uh, 50,000 that is your DPMO if it is 50,000 it will uh, respond to it, it is correspond to 3.14 Sigma that means uh, a lot of opportunity for improvement and uh, and then you have a defect is 0 0.05 uh, right so that means 5 percentage uh, we have defect and 95 percentage is the yield right so i'm just converting into percentage and uh, in terms of uh, the through throughput yield that is 75 percentage right so and 25 percentage defect per minute in each unit or each invoice has got 25 percentage defect that's what it means right and from there 75 percentage yield you will get it and uh, 25 percentage you will get the defect as such i hope uh, this video is very clear on uh, defect per million opportunity and then you have uh, sigma value and then you have first pass yield and then throughput yield more importantly if you look at uh, these things sigma perspective and uh, you can uh, also comment if, if uh, required so you can see that so the best process is process number nine right let's say this is the best process maybe we can give it like uh, i'll put it like green and which is the next best process is 4.08 and uh, you can see that if uh, the number of error is being reduced automatically the sigma value will go up i hope you find this one especially using the uh, i know the calculation using the formula it will be useful and you can have a practice it if you comment this uh, excel also will be shared for your reference also as well this excel basically contain lot of other things also as well it talks about dpmo calculation all discrete data process capability six sigma calculations z square the shape of data skewness cortosis how to convert the non-normal data and then we also have now we have something called uh, this chapter which we talked about how to calculate the dpo and all that we can also do it so these are all the thing can be given to you right so so yeah yeah so this this can be uh, given to you then my next video is coming up uh, next is on uh, p chart uh, and lane especially using that uh, control chart uh, uh, you know control chart limits that's what we are going to do it in the next video and uh, both in excel uh, versus uh, many tab we are going to do it okay and please So please do uh, stay tuned and